Well, over across the border, Ethiopia has selected a strong but largely new and younger team for the fifth African cross-country tournament to be held in Schleff, Algeria. Now, the team's head coach, Tolosa Kotu, told CGTN the team Ethiopia is hoping to harvest at least four gold medals. Hirum Chala has more. Ethiopia's national cross-country team has 28 members who were selected from regions and clubs to represent the country in the fifth African cross-country tournament. Almost all members of the team are young and amateur athletes. The head coach, Tolosa Koto, said it has so far been about two weeks since the team has begun their intensive training here in Addis Ababa. He said 12 men and women for senior 10-kilometer challenge, another 12 athletes for 8 kilometers junior challenge, and four athletes for 4 kilometers mixed relay are training daily to partake in the much-awaited games. The team hopes they can win at least four gold medals out of the tournament in Algeria. The Ethiopian cross-country national team will head to Algiers in two butts. First batch heading to the country on Tuesday and the second on Wednesday. Grumtara CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Right now, for more on the upcoming cross-country championship, let's go to sports analyst Alan Darren Kyeyune, who joins us live now from Kampala, Uganda. Uh, Darren, obviously Kenya is hungry for medals and also to defend that team title. What are their chances as they head to North Africa this time around? Well, definitely you think, uh, despite the fact that they've lost a bit of the cream, the la cream, uh, heading to the other different disciplines, which is similarly the same story with the other different countries that will be contending for the title, you think Kenya still holds the upper hand in cross-country, and uh, that could probably be the same story when the, two, when the teams jet out in Algiers uh, later on next weekend. But you think with Alfred Bakach, the youngster coming through to finish second behind Geoffrey Camoror, who opted to actually go for the World Half Marathon Championships, that will be in Valencia the following weekend after the Africa Cross Country. You think uh, Bakach should be the man that uh, many will be looking out for, as well as Tessi Ndiwa, uh, Ndiku, Ndiwa in the in the in the women's um, category that you think should be leading the team in that same sense and with the experience she's had unfortunately she hasn't yet scooped a medal at the senior stage but to think that she won the 1,500 meter um, uh, gold medal at the Commonwealth Youth Games in 2008 in India, that should give Kenya something to think about in the women's as well as the senior men's where you've got Alfred Bakach. Uh, together with some names that have come through, but unfortunately the big story continues to be that surrounding the big names opting to go for the other different events, especially the World Half Marathon that only comes a week after the Africa Cross Country Championships. Indeed, not much time. Now, other than Kenya, uh, Darren, which other athletes and teams should we be looking out for in Schleff? Well, the names remain Uganda, Kenya, Ethiopia, the other countries being South Africa as well as Eritrea because the latter two, Eritrea and South Africa, will always throw in um, a spark in, in some of these championships, especially the cross country. Uh, you've seen what Aaron Kifle did at the previous edition that was in, uh, in Cameroon in 2015. Of the, ten, of the 12 medals that won offer the individual medals, Kenya took 10. The two, the one went to Uganda for Philip Kipieko, the Ugandan who came second uh, with silver in the senior men's race, while uh, Aaron Kifle took that bronze in the junior men's race. So you think Eritrea or South Africa could throw in one or two names, but like I did talk about Kenya. Um, the, the Ethiopians themselves, like you did see in the previous story, uh, they did not have most of their big names come through. If you remember during the, uh, the national cross-country championships in Ethiopia, um, the man who did beat uh, Mo Farah at the world championships in the 5,000 meter final, Edris Mukta did take part, but unfortunately couldn't make it to the team that qualified uh, to head to Algiers. So you find there are new names like Enyu Mekonen, uh, you find uh, um, uh, most of the faces that have come through and won medals for Ethiopia, uh, like the youngster, Aletsen Bet Gide, in the junior women's category, has gone on to move on from cross country to try and focus on track. So, that it being the story for Eritrea, probably the same story for Uganda because the main man who is the informed Joshua Cheptege also opting to go for other different events and not uh, focus on getting a slot at the Commonwealth team that will be representing Uganda. 
Now, uh, let's talk about Uganda because, of course, last year, Kampala hosted the World Championships. In 2014, the African uh, World Cross-Country Championships. Since then, uh, Darren, would you say that we've seen more athletes joining the discipline or are they simply focusing on uh, other disciplines? Unfortunately, Uganda had a lot of food to serve on the athletics table last year. After winning, after getting the first gold in the World Cross Country Championships through Jacob Kiplume, we thought many would go on to be inspired uh, to take on cross country athletics. But months later, Joshua Cheptege recovered from that slump in Kololo uh, in the senior men's uh, 10 kilometer race when he lost that title and finished a distant 30th, uh, despite the fact that he had a, um, a, a, a very good start, losing the title to Geoffrey Kamara. He eventually went and recovered and won silver in the 10,000 meter final at the World Championships in London last year. Now, that being the latter part of the success, you think most of the athletes who are inspired to do what Cheptegei did um, in London, and that is on track. So you find most athletes still prefer track to cross country, but I've also seen that the names that do grow in cross country athletics, they first do well on track before they think of going to cross country, because to most of these athletes, cross country turns out to be a by the way. All right, Darren, thank you very much for your insights on that. We will, of course, be looking out for the action once it kicks off in Schleff. Uh, that's da Alan Darren Cheyune, sports analyst, joining us live there from the Ugandan capital.